All right, welcome to the shop, everybody. It's great to have you here. Now, my name's Andy Rawls, and this is uh, my furniture shop where we design and build high-end custom furniture. And you're looking at a piece that we just recently finished. This is an entry table in Walnut. This table kind of functions as a display place for a large bronze statue. Um, it goes right at the entrance of the house, so when you walk through the front door, this is the first thing you'll see. Uh, it's a really cool piece in the fact that it's got a solid walnut top, so it's one piece. It's a slab, 38 inches in diameter. Clear, free grain. There's no defects in this. It's just a beautiful piece of walnut. You got a little bit of live edge on each end of it to kind of uh, give it a little bit more of that organic feel. And for this video, what we're going to focus on really are these really cool splines that go in at the joints. Um, the, you know, this table has a really cool shape and this curve that comes up and the splines kind of match that curve. And I love adding these kind of uh, details in my joinery. It kind of adds that handcrafted touch uh, for the furniture. So. I have to give credit where credit's due on this. Robert did 90% of the work on this table, did a great job. Uh, he did all the joinery, mortise and tenon joinery at every one of these connections, and he did, he executed all that great and flawlessly. And so, um, you know, great job on his part. For this video, what we're gonna do is kind of a cool thing. I'm gonna sh kind of walk him through how I put these splines in, and then I'm gonna hand it over to him and let him do a few of them. Uh, so let's just jump in and get started. The first thing we're gonna do is uh, lay out the location of these. And then we'll start cutting them. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I don't remember what I had checked, but we'll just center up the gauge. Because okay. these pins are set to half inch. Uh, Alright, so I'll just eyeball this. And the way that slot cutter cuts, I think it's a good idea to cut a knife wall. I was just about to ask that. Keep it from yeah, blowing it out. Blittering out, yeah. And you're going to stop before, and this gives you a spot to take your chisel to it. Do you notice the difference when you hit the end grain as opposed to the edge? No, it wasn't a whole lot. It wasn't a big change. So the easiest way to do this, it's like chopping a mortise, you know, you just start here and come back. by hand is more fun than doing a tenon by hand, it's but you can do a tenon by hand a lot quicker, I feel much. Like, well, yeah, you probably can, than a mortise. When, once you figure out, and if you're in like a pretty fairly soft wood species, yeah. um, like, you can cut a mortise pretty quick by hand, if you really got the yeah. technique down.
fun part. And I think live oak. Which surprisingly works really well. And then you just hope they don't come flying out. <laughs> they won't, I promise you. Basically took that those pads, sanding pads. Yeah. And went from I think, I think 150, 220, then 320 them, and just 150 the corners off. S sanding pad here got this nice and sanded, and then used the spoke shave for a little, okay. just a slight round over.
I don't know if I was paying attention or not. Do you do the bevel down and kind of go in yeah. like that? Yeah, okay. Yeah. so Like a little fatter on that side. Is the flat sole one for that?
Okay, that's gonna shut it down for this video. Uh, one, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Real quick, if you're curious on what we're finishing this with, it's um, a product from Target Coatings. It was the, what you saw on the video there was a water-based sealer, which is this right here. And then we top coat that with a couple coats of their conversion varnish, it's the EM8000CV. This is a product we've been using. This is satin sheen. Uh, we've been using this for probably five or six months now, and I really like it. It's got a lot of good protection and a great look to it. So. Um, no sponsorship there, just happy to share their product. Um, so, uh, you know, go ahead and support them if you want. As always, appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, shoot me a comment, let me know what you think at the table. Hope you enjoyed some insight into this process. And uh, if you want to help support this channel and the content we make, we've got a Patreon and we've got uh, merchandise for sale. So, uh, you saw some of those t-shirts in the video as we were wearing those. So, help support the channel, go get yourself a t-shirt. Um, Thanks again for tuning in. We'll have some cool content coming your way, so stay tuned.